Hello friends, in this video we are going to study about the stereoisomers of square planar complexes and tetrahedral complexes. First of all, what are stereoisomers? They possess same molecular formula, same structure, but they differ in spatial orientation of the ligands connected with the metal. So, there is a difference in the three-dimensional orientation, then they are stereoisomers. Now put a question whether it is optically active or not. Optically active in the sense whether they are able to rotate the plane polarized light clockwise or anticlockwise. If it is able to do it, if your answer is yes, they are optical isomers. If your answer is no, they are stereo, they are geometrical isomers. Okay. So in order to uh, be able to rotate the plane polarized light, first of all, the complex should fulfill these two conditions. Two these two elements should be absent. First one is plane of symmetry. There should not be plane of symmetry in the molecule. Second one is there should not be superimposability of mirror images. The complex and its mirror image should not be superimposable. Okay. They, if these two elements are absent, then you can say that the molecule is optically active. It is capable of rotating the plane polarized light clockwise or anticlockwise. Okay. So now let's start with the uh, square planar and octahedral complexes uh, and tetrahedral complexes. Normally, we deal with three types of complex. First of all, coordination number 4. The other one is coordination number 6. Coordination number 4 means two types. One is square planar. Other one is uh, tetrahedral. Here it is octahedral octahedral complexes. Remember, remember square planar complexes exhibit geometrical isomers but not optical isomers. Tetrahedral complex exhibit optical isomers but not geometrical isomers. But octahedral complexes coordination 6 they exhibit both optical isomers, geometrical isomers, both are possible in octahedral complexes. This point we need to remember. Okay. So, in this video, we are going to concentrate on these two complexes, okay, square planar and tetrahedral complexes. Remember, square planar complexes, no optical isomerism, only geometrical isomerism. Tetrahedral complexes, no geometrical isomerism, only optical isomerism. Now, let us begin with square planar complexes. Square planar, square planar complexes. They exhibit, generally we deal with uh, three, four types, I think four types. The first one is M, A2, B2. Second one is M, A2, B, C. Third one is M, a, B, C, D. Okay. And there is one more type, fifth one with the bidentate ligand that we are going to see little later. So, A, B, C, D. Okay. All are monodentate ligands. Okay. Let us see the first one. A, A, B, B. A, B opposite. A, B opposite. The next one is bring A, A opposite and B, B opposite. Okay. So, in that case, this one, the first one is cis and this one is trans. First one is trans. What is the uh, condition? Okay, the same groups are opposite means trans, same side means cis, that's okay. Experimentally, they can be found out with the help of uh, dipole moment measurements. If trans dipole moment will be zero. If cis dipole moment will not be zero. Okay. For trans compound always dipole moment will be zero that you can't say. Sometimes it will be zero, sometimes it will be closer to zero. But cis always it will be not equal to zero. Okay. So, uh, let's see some other complexes where you won't get dipole moment zero for trans also. Let's see this one. Ma to Bc. M a, A, B, C. And here, 
bring opposite A opposite B opposite to C. So this one is if you look at A A opposite but B C that is also opposite same ligand A A opposite here different ligands opposite. So certainly dipole moment not equal to zero. But if you look at this one A A B B so dipole moment is zero same ligands opposite but here a a same ligands but b c different so dipole moment will not be equal to zero but here a c different a b different so here also dipole moment not equal to zero so in that case which is trans which is cis means here at least one set of ligands are opposite are same ligands okay so in that case dipole moment of here this one will be less than the other one so in that case the lesser one is is trans The, the isomer that exhibits less dipole moment is trans, the other one is cis. Okay. Okay, hope you understand and we'll go to the next one. M A B C D type. M A B C D. Fix A now. B is opposite to A. Next one brings C here in the place of B. And next isomer bring D in the place of B. So fix A and bring all the ligands opposite to A. A, you fixed it. In the place of B, bring C. Now, in the place of C, bring D. So M, A, D, B, C. Okay. So what did you do? You fix it A and bring the rest of the ligands opposite A. In that way, you got three isomers. So listen, in this type, you got three uh, geometrical isomers and here two geometrical isomers, here two geometrical isomers. Okay. So I told you that geometrical isomers only possible in coordination in square planar complexes, no optical isomers. So so in that case, you can say the total number of stereoisomers is nothing but the total number of geometrical isomers. Here, three geometrical isomers. So stereoisomers is also three. Here, two. So stereoisomers is also two because no optical isomers. Number of geometrical isomers is equal to number of stereoisomers for square planar complexes because they are optically inactive. And one more type is remaining in the square planar complexes. It is this one. M A B twice. Okay, this is the fourth type. A B type A B means it is a bidentate unsymmetrical ligand. Take for example uh, glycinato ligand. Okay, this can be represented as this side oxygen, this side nitrogen. They coordinate with the metal. So one side nitrogen, one side oxygen. That is unsymmetrical. If you take ethylene diamine, one side nitrogen, other side is also nitrogen. So I can represent that this way, N, N. Okay. So N, O, N, N. So this is symmetrical ligand. So this can be represented as A, A type. This is unsymmetrical ligand. This, is, this can be represented as A, B type. So the complex that we study is M, A, B twice. I mean, the complex the ligand like glycineutral ligand, unsymmetrical bidentate ligand is used. Okay. Here there are two types. What are they? M A B A B. A opposite to B, B opposite to A. The other way it can be mentioned as A opposite to A, B opposite to B. Okay, so this is trans and this is cis. So two types of total number of geometrical isomers, two. Optical isomers also, so stereoisomers also two because no optical activity. Okay. Now, let's go to tetrahedral complexes. Tetrahedral complexes. Let us take this type of complex M, A2, B2 type. Okay. If we if we draw the tetrahedral geometry, M, A2, 
ये ये बी बी ओके यू हैव स्टडीड दिस सर्ट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स इन स्क्वायर प्लेनर स्क्वायर प्लेनर कॉम्प्लेक्स इज ऑल्सो यू सी एम ए टू बी टू टाइप यू हैव सीन इन स्क्वायर प्लेनर कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑल्सो दिस वन द एंगल द बॉन्ड एंगल हियर इज बिटवीन ए ए इज नाइंटी डिग्री हियर द बॉन्ड एंगल इज वन एटी डिग्री सो यू चेंज इन द बॉन्ड एंगल सो यू गाट टू डिफरेंट isomers they are geometrical isomers okay but here in this case in tetrahedral complexes the bond angle between a b a a is 109 degree 28 minutes okay if we change if we bring the a here and take the b here a ए बी बी वॉट डिड यू डू यू ब्रॉड द ए हियर जस्ट ऑपोजिट टू दैट सो यू कॉन्ट एक्सपेक्ट वन एटी डिग्री हियर ओके सो हियर ऑल्सो द बॉन्ड एंगल इज वन नॉट नाइन डिग्री ट्वेंटी एट मिनट बिकॉज टेट्रा हेड्रल एंगल इज द सेम एवरीवेयर वन नॉट नाइन डिग्री हियर वन नॉट नाइन डिग्री हियर वन नॉट नाइन बिटवीन ऑल द बॉन्ड्स ओके ओके द बॉन्ड एंगल इज वन नॉट नाइन डिग्री 28 minutes so in that case you can't get any change in the bond angle so you can't get any geometrical isomers so tetrahedral complexes never exhibit geometrical isomers because there is no change in the bond angle okay but they can exhibit only optical isomers if we have all the four ligands are different as we studied in uh, organic chemistry the asymmetric carbon carbon connected with four different substituents likewise metal connected with four different ligands if it is a tetrahedral complex it is optically active okay so it will have a mirror image c d b a if i assume that this is uh, this is d and this is the l form okay they both are mirror images i mean racemic mixture enantiomers okay they are optically active so there is a complex like uh, cobalt chloro bromo iodo uh, h2o okay so this complex exhibits optical isomerism okay aqua bromo chloro iodo cobalt 3 complex okay so this exhibits optical isomerism h2o chloro bromo iodo okay one is d form one is l form this mirror image okay this is a mirror okay they you, it it exhibits optical isomerism having two different enantiomers okay so number of optical isomers here is 2 One is D, other one is L. So tetrahedral complexes exhibit optical isomerism, but not geometrical isomerism. Square planar complexes exhibit geometrical isomerism, but not optical isomerism. Hope you understood. We'll continue this uh, topic in the next video, and we'll study uh, octahedral complexes followed by some old questions we'll discuss. Okay. Hope you understood. If you have any queries and comments write it in the comment box and we'll meet in the next video wish you all the best thank you very much